What's going on everyone? Scott Berwick here. A week or two ago I uploaded a video of how to bind your Tyrannus transmitter to your drone if you're using Crossfire. It's a bit of a mouthful. But I got a comment asking how to actually set up the Crossfire in your Tyrannus to begin with. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Really quick video. Should be nice and simple. Let's get straight into it. So just a bit of background, what is Crossfire? Crossfire is essentially a line of products from a brand called Team Black Sheep and they're pretty much the flagship equipment for high performance FPV stuff for long range and just really, really good quality, really reliable gear. So if you're looking to get into FPV and you see gear with Crossfire written on it, that's what you want, can't recommend it higher. So when you're first getting into FPV, one of the first things that you are going to buy is your transmitter or remote control. And typically you're going to be running off of the inbuilt and antenna that's here, the internal RF it's called, which is fine, but there are better ways to do it. Enter your crossfire. So this particular transmitter, the X9D, just comes with the inbuilt antenna and this little area in the back where you can plug in accessories like the crossfire. So not all the crossfire modules look the same. This is the one I have. There's a few different models on the market, but that just clicks straight into your Tyrannus and that's good to go once you set it all up inside. Just a quick note, whether it's a transmitter or a receiver or a VTX or whatever, don't power any of your FPV equipment up unless you've got the antenna plugged in because you can potentially damage the gear uh, pretty easily by doing that. So just make sure you've got your antenna connected. Okay, we got there. So when you're first setting up your transmitter to work with a drone, you have to set up what's called a model. So each of the drones that you have, Yep. So each of the drones that you fly is going to have a model set up for it. And basically what that means is for each of these models that I have stored, that means that's a separate drone that I can fly. Okay, so when you first turn on your Tyrannus, it's going to come up with what model you have selected. First thing you wanna do is click menu to go into the menu, go down to your first available slot. For me, it's slot five. Hold down enter and click create model. Okay, so once we've got into the create model, we want to choose whoop, a quadcopter drone, hold down enter again. Oh, I think I just, could have just pressed it once, but anyway, so it's going to come up with your basic commands of how you want to set up your channels. So what this means is which do you want to use for throttle, for your, for pitch, etc. But personally for me, I'll just skip straight through this because it's all correct off the bat. So, yep, that's fine, ready to go. Enter long to confirm, hold it down, done. So we've now set up a model. Now, so this model at the moment is using the internal RF, the inbuilt antenna. You can see that the crossfire isn't illuminated, that's not being used at all. So as far as the Tyrannus knows, this is what we wanna use. It doesn't know we wanna use this, so that's all it's gonna be doing. So what we wanna do is tell it, no, I don't want to use the internal RF, I want to use external. Okay, so in that menu, you can see we're on page one out of 14 here, which is the model setup menu. So just go across to page two by hitting the page button once. You're now in model setup. So from here, you can click down to go to the bottom or you can just click up and that'll take you to the bottom of that page, which is where we want to be. So here, what we're going to do, you can see here external RF, that's where we're going to set up the crossfire. But first thing we need to do is turn off the internal RF. So we go up oop, to internal RF, go to mode, click in and just change that to off. That's it. Okay. So now what we've told the transmitter is we don't want to use the internal RF. We don't want to use crossfire. We don't want to use anything at the moment. So we'll go back down to external RF into that one in mode and go across to crossfire CRSF okay done so we click enter that stops flashing and it should the big reveal hey it's illuminated and at this point refer to my other video of how to bind this to your drone with the crossfire but that's really all there is to it any questions sing out let me know hope that helps like subscribe all, all that jazz whatever uh, but thank you very much and I'll see you on the next one.
Cheers.